Hello, everyone, and welcome in. So glad you could be here tonight for what should be a very exciting game. I am playing Scooby-Doo Mystery for the Sega Genesis. Now, this is kind of a wild game in the sense that it's a Sega Genesis game, but is also very much a point-and-click adventure, which you don't exactly expect to see on a 16-bit console. And this one, as we'll see very quickly, very obviously owes a debt of inspiration back to Day of the Tentacle. Uh, weirdly enough, there's a Game Boy Color Scooby-Doo point-and-click adventure game that came out around this time that's kind of like an homage to Maniac Mansion. I don't know. I mean, I guess it makes a lot of sense. I mean, Maniac Mansion is already basically like a Scooby-Doo story. Uh, so the, the DNA makes sense there, but still it's kind of wild to see it. And we're going to see it tonight. It's me, TCAF Jedi. We're Scooby-Doo. And I've streamed this one before years and years ago. And I've always joked, if you go back and watch that VOD, um, I am almost certain in the middle of the VOD, I contracted full-blown COVID and uh, nearly <laughs> nearly passed out live on stream uh, to an audience of two. Uh, but I'm going to make it all the way through this one without contracting a serious disease. So just you watch me. I'm going, going to get it right this time. But welcome in, everybody. I hope you're doing well. Expert Casual, thank you so much for the resub. Six months in advance. So kind. I appreciate it. It's good to see everybody. There's uh, there's Ben. He was half of my audience last time I streamed this. There's Mike. There's Grayson. That's the other half of my audience. There's Paul. Kevin's here. Jakobin, good to see you. Uh, goodness gracious. Lemming, love to point and click on a gamepad. Yeah, it is definitely the input device that, that point and clicking was made for. Jason. <laughs> and thank you, 6 7, for that resub. Ooh, never heard of it all. Um, the culprit is not red herring. Is that a pup named Scooby Doo reference? Because if so, I'm here for it. Uh, Zoinks. Um, hey, Tom, good to see you. All right, well, let's jump in and see if uh, my Genesis emulator, my gemulator, if you will, uh, is willing to work with me. So we will do a soft reset. Hey, Jason, thank you for the resub. And then we will unpause. There we go. From the fine folks at Acclaim Entertainment, known for their quality games. Where are you? Got some work to do now. And Sunsoft, there's Arrow the Acrobat. You love to see him. No, we got a Mr. Rita Salsa Scooby Doo. Get ready for your act. Don't look back. Mr. Do and you come through, you're gonna have yourself a Scooby snack. Okay, here we go. We have two options here. This is actually Scooby Doo Mysteries because we can play Blake's Hotel or Ha Ha Carnival. We're gonna start Blake's Hotel. So start, and we'll start, and we'll jump right in. Wing, it is wild that Scooby-Doo has a point-click game. And you know what? It's not bad. It's not great, but it's not bad. It was really nice of your Uncle Blake to let us spend the weekend at his hotel, Daphne. He says, he says the snow is great this time of year. I can't wait to hit the slopes. Ah, oh, no skiing for me, thanks. Like skiing gets your broken legs. Oh, broken legs. Jinkies, you guys are such cowards. What are you going to do with yourselves all weekend if you don't ski with us? Eat big sandwiches? Room service. Uh, yeah, oh, yeah. Hello, room service? Another pizza, please. Two pizzas. To each his own, right, guys? I think I see the hotel up ahead. Oh, is that digital Ruby Ruby Ruby. Now, this is the most Day of the Tentacle looking hallway that's ever been created. It looks like you'll have to place the place all to yourself. Really? I thought this was a busy time of year. It is. Only the blasted ghost has been scaring off all my customers. If this keeps up, I'll be bankrupt. There's a lot of bankruptcy in Scooby-Doo stories. G -g -g ghost I knew I should have said anything. Hey, Silver Streak, thank you so much for the raid. Welcome in. Speak for yourself, Fred. 
Blake, tell us about this ghost. I'll get a shout out here soon. Not much to tell. He showed up about a month ago and started running me broke. The gardener claims he's the ghost of the ancient chieftain. Who's the ancient chieftain? A long time ago, the Native Americans used this place as a burial ground. You mean like from India? Oh no, that ru I ruined the joke. No, silly, he means they have Americans. There you go. The ancient chieftain was a famous warrior around these parts around 200 years ago. They say he's buried nearby. Why would the ghost of the ancient chief be haunting you? I don't know for certain. But the gardener claims the chieftain doesn't like his land being used for a hotel. What I can't figure out is how come it took me so long for him to get mad about it. How come it took him so... I can't read. <laughs> Where was this ghost last seen? The cook saw him across the river just yesterday. Come on, guys. Let's check out that area. Oh, they're going to split up. Not me. Like, I'm not going anywhere near any ghosts. I'm going to hit room service. I don't have a shaggy, do I? I absolutely don't have a shaggy. I don't really have a scooby either. Sorry, Sam. Staff all quit last week. <laughs> the only ones that stayed with the cook and the gardener. All right. You talked to the cook nicely. Maybe he'll make you something to eat. Oh man, a big tall sandwich. Maybe you could deal me a sandwich like it's cards. That's always a good gag. Let's move inside where it's warm. Okay, game's starting. Make yourselves at home. I have some work to do. Gotta get a shout out here today. Silver, uh, Silver Streak who's kind enough to raid. Oh no. Oh, no. no wonder he's mad. He has looped sounds. That'd make me mad, too. Okay, let me get a shout out here. Thank you so much for the raid, Silver Streak. Everyone, be sure to uh, to go check out Silver Streak's uh, stream. Absolutely terrific streamer. Always a joy to drop in on Silver Streak. Uh, always good stuff going on over there. Uh, Y'all will enjoy it. Uh, also, throw a follow Robot Spacer's way. Good to see you. Energized Blast. Welcome in. Welcome in, Raiders. What were you up to tonight? Silver Street growing my grandpa. I don't know. I uh, don't know this game, but uh, that that sounds like good stuff. <laughs> oh, favorite Scooby Doo e episode? Ask Jesse anything. I don't know if I can think of a Scooby Doo episode, but I loved a pup named Scooby. Wait, no, no, I take that back. It's the episode where they team up with Sunny and Cher. Uh, that's my favorite Scooby Doo episode. It's the episode where they team up with Sunny and Cher. <laughs> that, that's got an easy answer. It turns out. Okay, so we're going. Look at this great walk animation. I mean, again, this interface is very uh, Day of the Tentacle. Oops, and I don't understand it. I'm gonna hit the wrong button every single time. But given a chance to hit the wrong button, you better believe I will. And I'm actually gonna use a walkthrough for this game, even though it's a small children's game. Uh, I don't know that it gets, there aren't a lot of extra messages around that you're going to find through a careful exploration. So I'm going to cheat my way through this. Eat Scoob. Let's see if that's an option. That's a good question. I do want to eat Scooby if I can. They're eating, they're eating the Great Danes. Eat Scoob? Not even an option. Get real. Even I won't eat that. I'd eat a bell. Okay. So we're going to... How do I get back to walking? There we go. Use <laughs> walk there. <laughs> 85 stream streak. That is amazing. Uncle Blake is gone. So you push the A button to go down here to the uh, verbs. Then you push B to select a verb and then V to activate. And then we're going to, I guess, look in there. Look at scissors. You know, for cutting stuff. I don't think this is using scum. I think this is just something that has been very much scum inspired. I think that these people have uh, borrowed as much scum as they were <laughs> as they were legally allowed to. Okay, let's grab some scissors. Okay. Oh wow, look at that! Someone wrote "help" on the board. Could that be a clue? I hit the wrong button, dang it. Look at chalkboard. Zoinks! That looks like Uncle Blake's writing. I can't believe 
Shaggy knows what Daphne's uncle's handwriting looks like. Wait, Jason, is this really, uh, is the engine for this really called Sludge? If so, that's pretty fantastic. Okay, let's take this space heater. There we go. Just carrying around. Oh, just joking. I was going to say, if that's true, that's the best thing I've ever heard. Okay, now we're going to go upstairs. And again, I just think this hallway is the most day of the tentacle looking screen I've ever seen. Like, just look at that. That is basically the upstairs from Day of the Tentacle. You need a candy machine here. Oh, you have the automatic apply the best verb option that good. Oh, zoinks. <laughs> Old frat face nearly had us. So it just says here my walkthrough to open every door except the one at the back wall. Animations in this are great. Yeah, I would have gone crazy for this as a kid if I'd had access to it. Now, I was more of a we finally lost Creepy Joe. I was more of a um, an SNES guy. And I have to say, what always rubs me wrong about Genesis games is the same thing that rubs me wrong with Amiga games. It's like they had a certain number of colors to pick from. And I feel like Genesis just didn't always pick the right ones. I always liked the color palettes a little better on Super NES, but you know, their version of Scooby-Doo Mysteries is a completely different game. It is <laughs> two Scoobies coming out. That's very good. Their version is just like, I think a platformer kind of thing. And then Sega's game with the same title, same cover art, everything is this weird point and click adventure. <laughs> Same developer did the Beavis and Butthead golf game. Well, you can really tell. <laughs> you sure looked mad that time. Hey, Dark. Okay. So once I've done all this, theoretically the last door should be unlocked. Let's see if it's actually unlocked. Oh no, what did I do wrong? Did I hit all of them? Sounds like the Chuck theme uh, sped up. That's interesting. Oh, hey, we did it. That's fun. Okay, now we're in the gardener's room. Okay. Look how great this game looks, though. Yeah, the proper door gag, that's all you can ask for. Ooh, an acid. Pink medicine for your stomach. Wait, how much... Acid reflux do you think Shaggy probably gets? I feel like his diet is really leading him to a lot of GI issues. Gardner must be annoyed having to do that to get to bed every night. Yeah, having to run in terror from a uh, evil ghost. Oh look, Scooby points at stuff sometimes. He's telling what he's hung up in the mystery machine. Wow, I wonder why they need an air freshener in there. You remember like when the height of alt comedy was suggesting that the Mystery Ink kids probably smoked weed? <laughs> like when that was just like the funniest thing we could think of when we first started doing meta pop culture commentary. 
on Secret Crush, I think he probably does have IBS and nobody talks about it. Like that should be something that comes up in every episode. Like Fred should be like, are you sure you want to eat that like two foot tall sandwich? You know about your IBS, Shaggy. Okay, let's see, we've got, oh man, look at this. You don't get many chances in a game to steal a bed spring. Oops. Take. Honestly, the interface works pretty well. I'm just bad at doing it. All right, we've got bed spring. A lot of inventory in this room. <laughs> yeah, Gen X. <laughs> Gen X uh, comedy is good. Yeah, and Grundy, Scooby Doo Doo, also very funny. Book. Ah, oh, Gideon checked out and left his Bible. This book tells you how to read some funky writing, eh? Hmm. I'll take that. Yoink! Okay. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing gets you, Dr. Mario, on these console point and clicks is when the cursor is incredibly slow. And that's not the case here. Can't talk to that. Get real, even I won't eat that. You see, here's where some of the downside of it being a console game, I think, really comes through, is you don't get a lot of unique responses to interactions. Again, this is a very good looking Lucas Artsy screen. I mean, the chef looks like a character straight out of Monkey Island. The funky room is very Day of the Tentacle. It's excellent. This is good stuff. It kind of looks like the uh, the diner chairs might be uh, Danishes. I like that. Um, let's see. So now we're in the cafe. Push the radio. But push the radio? If I use the radio. Uh, how would you suggest I use that? Okay, I've turned the radio. Then take the bat. Oh, I open it. Watch this. This is actually a pretty hard adventure game, I have to say. I would be terrible at this if I tried to do it straight up. That's why we're doing a whirlwind, <laughs> hopefully long play, walkthrough assisted version of this. Because now we have a battery. All right, we got a battery. And then once we get the battery, we're going to take the bottle of oil at the bottom of the screen. Oh, wow, look at this. It actually has inventory items in the foreground, which I feel like is maybe not fair dinkum. Is that a phrase? Is that actually an Australian phrase? I think I say fair dinkum sometimes. I don't know if what even it means or if it's even something people say. Please, someone tell me if that's real. Hey, clearly, yes, throw Shaggy. Um, let's see. Then I'm going to... How's this going to work? Okay, we're going to eat. Inventory. Look, it even has inventory art. Best console point and click game. I know there aren't a ton. Oh man, I mean, I guess there are people who love like Shadowgate and I think Deja Vu got some console releases, right? Um, King's Quest 1 for the Master System. I think my favorite is King's Quest 5 NES. It's just such an amazing piece of work that they managed to get all of that in there together. Okay. The Evening News, Sydney, has the earliest references to Fair Dinkum. Get real, even I won't eat that. Really? My walkthrough says you will. Let's see, it says here. Oh, I was supposed to eat the acid. See, Shaggy's playing ahead by preemptively eating that acid. What? Gosh, kid, you really do need food. 
I'll get you something right now. Now, what happened? What happened? Okay, wait. Now I need to... Oh, he's gone. I'm sure I need to do some stinky stuff. Take the key from the back left corner. Okay. Yes. Hey, where'd you go? I made you a sandwich, but you were gone so long I ate it. Okay, take. Key. Uh-oh. Can't remember how to do things. Yoink. Now we're still in. Yeah, that password's great, is it, Robot Spacer? Uh, <laughs> yeah, the, you gotta love a good, uh, <laughs> a good, uh, console password. Use key with cabinet. Um, how would you suggest I do that? Well, I don't know. Why don't you just tell me what you want to unlock? Open. Open cabinet. Ooh, sweet can opener. I feel like can openers should be inventory items in more adventure games. You know, earlier, um, Kevin asked what my favorite Scooby-Doo episode was, and I said definitively the Sunny and Cher episode. And I have to say... If you want to know what kind of kid I was uh, growing up, like when I was 12 or 13 years old, if I could find old episodes of the Sunny and Cher Variety Hour on Nick at Nut, I would watch that. I'd just eat it up with a spoon. <laughs> Give me more Sunny and Cher doing Variety Hour bits interspersed with uh, musical performances, lots of Vaseline lens close-ups. Oh, man. I could not get enough of that stuff. Back when I used to do some, like, talent show hosting and stuff in college, I uh, absolutely considered the Sunny and Cher show my go-to uh, for what good comedy was uh, for a hosting uh, setting. So, yeah, that's who I was, gang, if you ever wondered. Just, like, a really cool kid in every way. Man, look at that awesome snowman. So we have a whole second adventure in this one, too. We have a carnival-based adventure. The Ha Ha Carnival, I think, which is a great name. How late did the Say and Share show run? That's a good question. These were reruns. Like, these were, like, long, old episodes on Nick at Night. So they definitely were not the original run of it probably by a good 15 years by that point but I bet it had to be over by like 76 77 right sorry about this Mr. Snowman but we all have to make sacrifices for the good of the Plague Hotel that's right all right now here comes your shovel to the face Cowabunga. There's Shaggy's classic catchphrase. Cowabunga. This game looks fantastic. No question. Yeah, this is just a good looking game. This has to be one of the most criminally overlooked Genesis games ever. You could keep like your NHL 93. I'll, I'll leave it as a memorial <laughs> to that murder I just did, that snow murder. Um, okay, good, good, good. Okay. shovel with snow covered doors that's snow fair i've had an exciting uh, day of media creation of content creation um this is uh, hot off the presses uh but uh, my wife courtney is actually about to launch a uh, youtube channel that i have no doubt will be far more popular than my own 
uh, where she has filmed herself uh, playing around with her new hobby, which is taking uh, old generation one My Little Ponies that she loved as a child and uh, and restoring them. Uh, oftentimes, uh, restoring the color of the vinyl, repainting, uh, replacing hair where necessary and stuff. And I have no doubt that once this launches, I've been helping her edit her first video all day. Uh, I have no doubt that once this launches, it's going to be far more popular than the content that I create. And that's going to be a problem around here. Um, I'm not going to be happy if I'm not, uh, if I'm not the head content creator in the family. I may never be the breadwinner. I want to be the main content creator. That's important to me. <laughs> Streaming my little pony game. I don't know how many there are. I mean, there are probably lots of good, like, flash games, right? Let's see. So what I do? Uh, take the frozen bell, use the shovel, the snow covered doors. Go back to the hallway and use the dumb waiter to reach the kitchen. Expert casual. It is like a game nobody talks about. You would think, I think, especially with the, like, very obvious day of the tentacle vibes i would think people would be all over talking about this one like it feels like it deserves an article at a gaming site at the very least of look at this weird game that exists equestria at war yeah so many of the rooms absolutely look like day of the tentacle I, that's not an accident there's no chance i mean even the interface looks like day of the tentacle it is absolutely an, uh, a game inspired by that. And I can't blame them. I mean, like, if you had to borrow from a game, what better than Day of the Tentacle, right? Okay, take the pot above the dumbwaiter. See, where this game would really trick me up if I wasn't using a walkthrough right now is figuring out I need to take stuff from the foreground of these scenes. Like, to me, that just looks like part of the, the set dressing. I will say it's the kind of game that makes me feel like tapping one direction twice should give me a dash. I don't know what it is about it, but I just really feel like Shaggy should do a dash when I tap twice. Okay, let's see. So we got the pot. Take the chili below the flower bag. Hmm, a meal fit for a king. Makes me want a Scooby Doo Zach McCracken crossover. I don't know about that. Hmm, what have we here? Beads? There's some kind of beads, I think. Thanks. It's no sack of peas, but I guess it could be useful. Hey, you can do anything with a sack of peas. But even as the objective, I mean, right now, the game doesn't really give you, that's where this game falls apart. It didn't give you like a, here are the three things you need to do to start your investigation. It kind of just cuts you loose into the game without a lot of context clues. It just kind of happens. <laughs> so yeah, that is where this game falls short. Okay, let's see. Oh, this is great. This won't cause any problems. Open microwave. Use frozen bell with microwave. Okay. Shut microwave. Use microwave. Oh no. Too bad we can't get a gerbil in there. See, this is where the joystick gamepad interface really uh, gets you down, is when you have like a multi-step process like that that should be very easy, but now it's a lot of work. Uh, let's see. Use the microwave for taking the cowbell. Use the pot with the kitchen sink. Whoa. This is wild, gang. Okay. 
use. Hot. With kitchen sink. Is this better than or worse than King's Quest V on the NES? I think King's Quest V on the NES is an impressive effort to get that giant game onto a platform it has no business being on. This one definitely looks better. Uh, that one's, yeah, oof, that one's a rough looking game. King's Quest V. This looks great. I like how Shaggy consistently scratches his butt butt. That's a nice touch. Okay. Let's see. Use the pot at the kitchen sink. The, wow, look at this. Gang, I, again, I don't want to talk about what is and isn't fair dinkum, but I feel like pushing this refrigerator should not be a puzzle. Oh, let's look at that note, actually. Eggs, cheese, bread, milk. Arstic? Creepy. <laughs> I like that. Okay, let's push. Refrigerator. Well, there it is, gang. It's something behind a refrigerator. It is a soda tab. All right, let's see here. So you've got that. Use the can opener with the chili. Okay, watch this. Use the can opener. Use can opener with chili. Slurp? Gross. Poor chili never had a chance. Hey, injured ally, good to see you. Okay, so now we've eaten a bunch of chili. That's probably a good sign. Now, for some reason, let's see, we are going to... It's all from a soda can. Cool, I collect these. I don't know about that. Soda can tab with... Battery? Cool. So yeah, check that out. I have a cunning plan. <laughs> Colon, nothing. I'll give you nothing after that. I just want to point out that I have a cunning plan. And you'll have to figure it out for, from here. You know how it is, how sometimes you just put like a soda tab on your uh, on your battery. Yeah, I keep forgetting Maniac Mansion. That's also a really good console adventure game. I actually prefer the NES version of Maniac Mansion. I think any of the others because the music is so good and it. it has such great music. Whereas Maniac Mansion on most platforms is a pretty quiet game. If I recall, I think the game plays music all the way through in the NES version. Yeah, Scooby-Doo game, he's mostly a background PC. Let's see, so we've done that. We've got the battery. Go outside and head left to screen. Head left, young man. What, how did you? You two get out of here before I get really mad. You got it, dude. Hey, Silver, take care. Thank you again for the raid. Hope you have a good evening. Okay, we're outside. Head left to screen. Use the key with the lock on the shed. Why don't we do that later when we were out here? Walk through, Ryder. You need to do a better job. You know, speaking of walk through riders, uh, you know, I had my day in the sun as someone who wrote a lot of Space Quest uh, walkthroughs, and recently, I have regained access to the server where my Space Quest fan site, the Virtual Broom Closet, is located. I think here in the very near future, we're going to see uh, the first update to my website in 20 years. Uh, it's going to be very exciting. Who knows what will happen uh, when the Virtual Broom Closet comes roaring back. An update. It's coming. Take weed killer. No, you heard it here first, unless you also saw it in the Discord. I uh, thought you heard it there first. <laughs> or if you're watching this later on YouTube, first of all, thanks. Maybe you're hearing it first there. Weed killers that Shaggy's nickname. <laughs> yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Oh, 
I can see that. Nice crowbar. Crowbar is the best inventory item in any genre of games. Why does Coop keep getting mad at the snow? He wants to pee in it, but unfortunately they don't have a good uh, shade of yellow to uh, to render that. That's why he's so mad. Let's see if we can use the shovel there. I'm going off walkthrough. He is... I mean, Scooby does walk around hinting certain things. No, but there's nothing there to shovel. Use. I'm sorry, use. Crowbar. With locked doors. Open Dubla doors. Ooh, it's the basement. Okay, open the locker. Get low this place. Complete with the hell pit. You have to say, it's nice that this has a soundtrack throughout. I feel like Adventure games that are completely silent are always a little bit of a bummer. Hmm. Okay, so we've got the extension cord. Take the screwdriver in the bottom left. Around here we call that goose stabber. Wait to see if any image items are loose. Lucas uh, Art's uh, asset flips. I mean, they all look like they could conceivably be. Let's see. All right, screwdriver, return to the lobby. Can do. Just ignoring that sleeping bear for now. Oops. What if I should save my progress in case this crashes? Safe state. There we go. Pot of water with fire. Okay, we put out the fire. Ooh, there's a note. Oh no, I'm pixel hunting. Crumpled note here somewhere. my problem come back to it a crumpled note that was in the fire yeah that's how it goes sometimes I mean I guess it was in the fire it says in the walkthrough Turn to the lobby, use the pot of fire and the water for the pot of water on the fire, then take the crumpled note. There's a crumpled note somewhere else, is there? that. 
mean, it really doesn't seem like there's a note there. Okay, return to <laughs> let's say return to the gardener's room. We'll see if this note can be found later. Maybe it's inessential. Look at poison oak. Yikes, and this guy's the gardener. Okay, we're going to use work gloves with poison oak. These old gloves will protect my hands from the mega itching. Sweet, now we have poison oak. Okay, back down. Oh man, I hope that the pixel hunt for this missing crumpled note isn't what ends my playthrough. Again, I do wonder what sort of note could possibly be. Hey, I just don't think there is a hot spot over there, is there? Like, I'm not getting any kind of light up anywhere near the fire, other than Scooby when he happens to walk over there. Oh, the note is directly behind the logs? Can't see it in your game. Huh, maybe for some reason I haven't done something that triggers it? We'll keep going for now. Okay. Return to the kitchen. Use the screwdriver on the vent cover. I don't see a vent cover. Is this the kitchen or is this the kitchen? I'm pre-solving puzzles. That very well could be the case. So I guess I have to take the dumb waiter down. Again, this is the problem with this game. I wouldn't say, oh wait. Um, I wouldn't say it's moon logic necessarily, but I just don't know how you would figure most of this out without the benefit of a, uh, of a walkthrough. The game doesn't have a ton of clues. Ah, oh, there we go. Termites. I once saw a single termite eat a whole croquet ball. <laughs> That's the funniest thing a termite can eat. They nailed it with that one. Oh, that's very good. I don't know why I love the idea of a termite eating a croquet ball. It's so specific. It's like, did one of the riders for this have a termite eat a croquet ball? Yeah, that's right. With console controls, trying everything, Paul, absolutely is more difficult than it needs to be. Okay, then you just do what you would normally do in this situation. You take the empty chili can you've been carrying around and you capture some termites. What? Doesn't matter. Oh, wait. Ugh. Use chili can with termites. Sweet. That's it, dudes. Dinner time. Okay. At least the Super NES had a mouse. This is true. Moving on up. We're making great progress. Welcome in, everybody, by the way. So glad you could be here for a little bit of Scooby and andor Dubian. By the way, this is a great opportunity to remind everybody. Uh, my pal Ben, who was here earlier, may still be lurking. Uh, ben and I, I have uh, recently launched a new podcast. It's called Quest Quest, the adventure game podcast. It's available uh, everywhere, Spotify, Apple, elsewhere. But uh, maybe the easiest way to get a hold of it right now is to head over to my YouTube channel, Decap Jedi, where you can uh, grab the stream of the, uh, the podcast there as well. But be sure to listen as we talk about 
all the latest and greatest of uh, adventure games and mostly just get off topic and end up talking about other things. But you know, that's what a good podcast is all about. So we're just going to use the bed springs. Oh, thank you. Uh, thank you, Expert Casual. We're very excited. We have some... Oops. We have some really good episodes in the can that I can't wait for people to hear. Uh, we've only got our first episode up so far where we kind of talk about how both of us approach playing adventure games. But uh, soon, we'll have more episodes available. Oh, no, I didn't do it in time. Okay, this is this requires coordination. Take Christmas lights. Okay, we did it. Okay. So we have the Christmas lights. Use the extension cord with the outlet. Do I have an extension cord? I don't remember picking one up, but I have been cheating so hard that I may have forgotten it. Yeah, there's an extension cord. Use extension cord with outlet. Where's this alleged outlet? Ah, oh, there it is. Okay, use extension cord with outlet. Then use the heater with the extension cord. Makes sense. My extension cord looks like a uh, toaster. Or rather that uh, space heater. Okay, we're gonna warm up a bear. We just convinced the bear it's spring so it quit hibernating. <laughs> okay. Walk to the right across the river. Oh, look at this gang. Okay. This is some wild stuff. So, here we go. Should see someone throw the note there based on what I'm reading. Interesting. So we're going to use the soda tab and battery with a light bulb. And now we have... A light bulb powered by a battery. I guess you could probably do that. Like a Mr. Wizard style project. Okay, so. Oh my lord. Okay, here we go. Get ready for this one. Watch this drive. We use poison oak with a bear. Seems wise. Now he's scratching up against the pole, which knocks it over. Now he's back asleep. Wow. Well, I haven't seen the two guys talking through the peephole. This is a great question. I wonder if by using the walkthrough, I've just completely broken the flow of this game. Sweet, a fish. Oh no. Take rope. It's tied too tight, I can't get it loose. Okay. Oh, this is fine, so watch this. Just need to keep fishing. Like that Weezer song, Keep Fishing. Sweet, a doll. That's what we wanted. <laughs> Safest looking place around here. Look at those great eyes. Those are very good. Take doll.
Look at that. Swinks. It looks hungry to me. Okay, let's see. So now I have the doll. And then we're going to use... Scissors with rope. Nothing like desk scissors to cut a piece of rope. Take that rope. And then, we're gonna head out. Oh, you can push the bag of flour. Oh, maybe that's what I missed. Okay, let's go ahead and try that real quick. So that's in the kitchen, which I take the dumb waiter down. Thank you, expert casual. Yeah, it doesn't make comments on the actions. This is exactly right. I think this is part of the challenge, but I'm not making any comments on the actions. It just leaves you to wonder if anything you've done has mattered at all. Which I guess is common in a lot of adventure games. It's something that Sierra and Lucas Arts eventually got pretty good at doing, but some lesser games, not so much. Okay, let's see. Push flower. Let's see if this is where the problem is. Well, well, well. I think this is the other side of that creepy painting in the lobby. Is this a sushi glory hole? Listen, Scoob. Did you get Blake? Who lit the fire? He's in the dungeon. I don't trust you. I want to see for myself. Then see. Instructions on how to get down here. God, now get rid of that before someone sees it. Okay, now this is better. Don't we'll ever see it now. <laughs> That's why you use fire spores to hide things you don't want people to see. Okay, expert casual, you've been uh, you've been brought into the world of the sushi glory hall as well. Good, good, good. I kind of loved it. Hear us out. Imagine this is a soft wall. Yeah. Oh, here's the question. I'm gonna get out, and the fire's gonna be back on, isn't it? I'm gonna have to go put it out again. Nope. I guess they snuffed it out after they were done. Yeah, there it is. All right, we uh, we did it. Thank you, expert casual. You saved the day. I only use it. I want to take it. Dang it. Hey, crumpled note. I think any time a player or a character picks up a uh, a note or a message in a game, it should just automatically read it. That's my uh, hot take tonight. Fifth bottle from the left, third bottle down. Oops, so that does sound important. What bottles? Okay. Okay, return to the lobby and use the bell. It doesn't work. Okay, I guess I have my own bell though. That's why we needed that. You know, the one that we had frozen that we microwaved to get out of a block of ice. Yes, may I help you? Uh, let's see, I guess. It's our first chance to talk to someone. Talk to Mailbox, I want to talk to Bellhop. Excuse me. Okay. Oh wow, look at this. We've got dialogue trees now, baby. Nope, I know a lot about my people's history, and I've never heard of this ancient chieftain character. I think it's all some kind of scam. That would be the typical Scooby-Doo thing. You seen Uncle Blake? No, but I wish I knew who he was. I need my paycheck. Well, gotta go. Okay, check out 11 Sharp. That's pretty good. Uh, give. all this inventory oh my goodness too much inventory <sighs> give 
doll to Bellhop. Here's your doll, guy. Oh, wow. He gave us the Holy Grail? Pardon me. Classic doll for goblet exchange. Thank you, Pack Gain, and thank you, Clil. That guy, does, that guy is serving Stan from Monkey Island, isn't he? Let's see, how do I get to the basement again? Is it down this way? How do I get to the basement? Oh, outside. That's right. Trying to get this map stocked away in my brain. Yeah, I see lots of people who've like long played both episodes of this in an hour and 15 minutes. It seems like a much bigger game than that to me. Hey, thank you, Packet Game, for the resub. I appreciate it. Okay, use the crumpled note with the uh, wine. That's nice that it just uses the crumpled note instead of making you do the whole thing. Okay, use. Oh, I did the wrong button. Use. Not feeling any COVID effects yet, but you just heard me sneeze. Anything's possible. Oh, my Lord. Why can't I execute this simple command? Use crumpled note with rack. Yeah, that's got to be the answer. Hey, there's a link to our new podcast, Quest Quest, the Adventure Game Podcast. Everyone be sure to click on that. Make it happen. Okay. Listen to this music. Maze time, baby. Did you know that, Paul? Or was that just your adventure sense tingling? Okay, take wheels. These wheels do not stand out enough from the background. Just a guess. Okay, there we go. Take third wheel. Use the wheels with the mine car. This music is fantastic. Okay, I guess I didn't use the mine car. Come on, Scooby, let's ride. It's gonna be a real Temple of Doom situation. Or Temple of Doom in it. Hop in my Doom buggy. I should mention, this is part of my Halloween programming. This is clearly chosen to uh, be a, a spooky ooky game with ghosts and uh, goblins. And ghouls. Let's see. siphon some gas off okay use the hose uh sorry use the hose with the engine use the hose with the gas okay there we go use the hose with the gas the hose of the engine, use the hose of the gas, head right to the pond. Oh no. Uh oh. The smell is just too bad. You won't go across. You know all we have to do here. If you walked into a really pungent underground room, all you have to do is wave around your air freshener. 
and that'll be sufficient. Of course, again, the Scooby game probably uses some industrial strength air fresheners. Just hang it on the tree there and we should be fine. <laughs> okay. Hey, this is that difficult part in a walkthrough where I see a phrase like, use the flashlight, and I have no memory of picking up a flashlight. This is the control F portion of the, uh, of the walkthrough where we try to figure out where we missed a flashlight earlier in the game. Um, let's see. Flash. Oh, the improvised light bulb. Good idea. I bet you're right. Thank you, Paul. That should have been more obvious to me. All right. So we're in a maze. If you, if you were asking yourself, is this a maze? The answer is absolutely it is. And it looks like a good one. Okay. Well, there's a lot of game left. Okay. I don't want to dunk on anybody, but whoever drew this map had no idea what they were doing. Okay, here we go. Fog of War is terrible in this level. Yeah, the ASCII rendering of this map could uh, could use some work. Just use my maze skills. What? What? How's that even possible? Okay. We're doing great, though. The important thing is we're doing great. We're making great time. Again, a lot of people will have solved both this episode and the second episode in the time it's taken me to get this far in this episode, but that's okay because, you know, it's not a race. Maybe it's just speed running. We should try enjoyment running where we see who can have the most fun the fastest. And I'd like to see someone who's had more fun with this game than me. Good luck. Where are the leaderboards for that? We're in the tomb. Okay. Oh, this is going to be good. No way am I going through that stuff. So let's see what we got here. Killer lettuce. Hungarian killer lettuce. Kills in an instant. Look out, gang. It's Hungarian killer lettuce. Yeah, I would like to see some speedruns of this. I think if you could get good with the interface, that speedruns could be a possibility. I encourage all the other big uh, scoob heads out there to, uh, to get on that. Use weed killer, where are you? Killer lettuce, take that. Sayonara, death lettuce. Okay, let's uh, enter the dungeon, I guess. The dungeon. Hungarian killer lettuce absolutely sounds like a pot strain. <laughs> There's no question. Okay. Okay, use. So the good news is, yeah, last time I played this years and years ago, I did feel like I somehow contracted COVID halfway through the stream. And this time, for the moment, I feel as healthy as I did coming into it, which you know, is about an 80%. That's about as good as you can do. Use the rope with the cuffs. Then we'll use the rope. It's 
Mr. Blake. I thought I was going to rot down here. Well, bad news. Shaggy's here. Can't take him to save you. Um, let's see. Oh, this is a cool solution. Again, who knows how fun this game could be if I wasn't cheating my way through it. But the fact of the matter is I am. In fact, the first episode of our podcast talks about why I'm a walkthrough boy sometimes. Termites, look at that. Now let's go get those rapscallions who put me here. Rapscallion, famous LucasArts character. Zoink, Scoobs is in trouble. Let's help him. He's gone. What do we do? Better start looking for him. Me, I have something he needs doing. Okay. So, we're going to use. The goblet with statue. There we go. And then we're going to do what anyone would do in this situation, which is talk to the statue. Uh, Mr. Statue? Why am I talking to a rock? Hmm. Ah, here we go. Here's what I've missed. Wait, Shaggy's just intent butt scratching really is something. Let's get that book of hard to read phrases. I'm not giving that to that. That's what my walkthrough says to do, so I bet you will. Give book to. Blake. That's the book. Now let's see here. Hmm. Here we are. We have to place a ceremonial goblet in the hands of the statue. Then say some magic words and the medallion will disappear. Will appear. Huh. Have to use the goblet at any rate. I don't believe in this magic tomfoolery. You wouldn't have to have a ceremonial goblet, would you? Well, it just so happens. Uh, let's talk to the statue. Okay, we have some choices here. Abracadabra. Hocus Pocus. Shazam. And that's right, I believe we have a Colossal Cave Adventure reference here. X, Y, Z, Z, Y. Here we go. You've proven yourself worthy. Zoinks, who said that? Something's happening over here. You may look upon the medallion. Ooh, man, we did it. Boy, of all of the unexpected references, there it is. A classic magic word. Okay, here we go, gang. That may sure was easier the second time. Now that's some good LucasArts vibes. Thank you, game. Skipping the maze, inspired. It's the monster. Okay, here we go. Use medallion with hook. Uh oh, he's going for it. He's going for it. Ah, he fell to his death. Gotcha. Let's see who this rascal is. Jim the gardener. 
found the glowing paint he was using. It's always glowing paint. But he's not the only one involved. Yeah, like we saw the cook with him through the peephole. We heard everything. It's always the help. Tribal police, you're under arrest. The bellhop was undercover? You kids did great. You should come and work for me. Like, thanks, but no thanks, man. I've had enough. Besides, we still have skiing to do. Perfect. Nailed it. Well, there it was. That was Blake's Hotel. Matt Rocker Boy Gilbert. There was a Gilbert working on this. That's another LucasArts reference. Well, there's a whole other episode. James No More Doom Collas. Wow, they actually got Casey Kasem in for Shaggy. Craft Services, <laughs> Domino's Pizza. Yeah, this isn't a bad game. I mean, again, I think if you sat down and really worked at this, you could beat it. It's not an unbeatable game. There are some parts that like, expect you to do stuff like push the refrigerator aside when there's no hint, like a little sparkling pixel or whatever. But I mean, if you're willing to just like use everything on everything, you could do it. What is the speed run speed on this one, Lemming? I guess we've only done half the game though. 13 minutes, 58 seconds. How's that possible? That's gotta be glitching through it somehow. Ah, this could be doable in 13 minutes, I guess. I'd believe that. Okay, well, there you go. That's episode one, Blake Hotel. But now we have to play Haha -ha Carnival. You know, we import your party to episode two. That's right, we can keep our levels. This game invent episodic releases. It is an interesting concept to compl to include two completely different adventure games in it. Like, I'm trying to think of another adventure game that does that. Like, is there any compilation that tries like a double header like this of two small adventures? Can we think of any other examples of that game? Ha ha carnival. Like, man, I can't wait to get there. Drive faster, Fred. What a deep fried Oreo. Statistics show that people hurry are ten times more likely to have an accident, Shaggy. Uh, thanks a lot, Buzzkill. <laughs> Let's not say we did. That's how that phrase works. The hot dog cart. Oh, man, gang. Stop the press. Who's that? So, I was looking at Facebook Marketplace the other day. And there is a gorgeous hot dog cart that is shaped like a big hot dog with like, you know, places to put all the ingredients and everything inside the hot dog. But it's like a big golden bun, big bright red uh, sausage sticking out of it. Little um, little umbrella that comes up for shade. Um, it's on Facebook. It's a hot dog cart and it is eight hundred dollars. And. All I've been thinking about for the past like 48 hours is how I want to buy that hot dog cart, quit my job, and become a hot dog vendor full time. And I would just like literally appreciate any reason from anyone watching why I shouldn't do that. Because like even the slightest nudge in that direction, and I'm in. Like I just am leaving it all behind, and now I'm a hot dog vendor. It doesn't come with the condiment cow. I hope not. Um, but is there anything that sounds better than a life as a hot dog vendor with a really cool hot... What is the ad, average annual hot dog vendor salary? Let's see. It's a small business. As I understand it, you know, I would think that's at least a 300K job, right? In a small business in America, right? Like, that's the, probably the salary. It's part of the Carnival Experience, Velma. Here 
here we are. Let's go get some tickets. Oh no. I guy's doing something gross at the top of the... Oh, okay. I wonder where everyone is. Maybe it's not that. Poor old recordings. He found the Homer Simpson tap to tail. It's creepy if you ask me. I'm seeing off now that this place is dead. My like boring scoob unhit. Not happening. Get it? I like see anyone selling tickets. Oh, stop being a worry wart. Oh, the lights on the rides are on. Yeah, the lights are on. You can play. Okay, okay. Shaggy, you coming? Hey, Scooby is allergic to boats. Hmm. And water. You mean you're both afraid of the boats? That's right. Not to mention starved. Let's meet back here in an hour then, okay? Good, because I have to go to bed in an hour. Let's go, girls. Well, Scoob, old buddy, old pal, let's find some food. Oh, man. Grayson. Which which member of the Mystery Machine game do you relate to the most? I love that jerk. I hate that guy. And don't just say Velma. I wouldn't say Velma. Like, I could never solve a mystery to save my life. So Velma is out right away. I feel like I would... Like, I think the answer is absolutely Fred or Daphne. Like, we'll just narrow it down to those two to begin with. Of the two, like, I feel like I am in any operation. Like, I think of how I behave in an escape room, and I'm like chief morale officer. Like, I am in an escape room to make everyone else feel better about the job they're doing, more so than I am solving puzzles or taking the lead or actively participating. So I have to say, if there's a member of the Mystery Machine gang that I relate to most, the Scooby gang, it's probably Daphne. Um, also, I think her tats are really cool. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna say uh, Daphne is my answer. It was never gonna be Velma. Uh, how do I look at an ascot? Um, that's a great question. I've never tried one, but I know how I look at a tie, and it's uncomfortable. So, I'm guessing I won't be much better than an ascot. Okay. Well, that's a great question. It's definitely Daphne, though. up a sign. Yeah, you know, one time back in college, a bunch of my friends got tickets to go see the Cranberries uh, perform, and they drove like five hours to go see the Cranberries in Nashville, and the Cranberries had to cancel because their lead singer um, had, uh, had a throat problem uh, and wasn't able to perform. And they didn't find that out because it was like sort of an almost pre-internet era. So they drove all that time and literally got to the concert venue. And there was just like a sandwich board sitting there that said concert canceled with no details or anything else. And like nobody else there. They're like the only people who showed up at this concert. So they stole the sandwich board and brought it back to our dorm. And it sat out in the suite of our dorm uh, for the rest of my time in college. A sign they stole from the Cranberries concert. That's what uh, Dolores O'Riordan, I think that's her name, uh, got for uh, canceling that concert. Let's see. So here we are. We're here. Look at this guy. Look at love this guy. Is he playing a Game Boy? Mr. Roller Coaster Guy? Is that game you're playing any good? Put a plug for your own game. Put a plug for Arrow the Acrobat. Yep, it's a game about Scooby-Doo. Wow. Who wanna ride the roller coaster? I have tickets to the ride, guy. If 
fun music here. That guy's an absolute nerd. Take mummy bandages. Good. Well, there you have it. Was that clown supposed to be a mummy? <laughs> good, 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 good. Madam Zelda. Finally, they made Zelda a girl. Like it's a fortune teller machine with a creepy looking woman inside. I feel like I should play the new Zelda game. I haven't done it yet. I haven't been in the mood to do uh, to do any switching lately, but maybe it's time. Okay, so we got a ticket. Madam Zelda. You can't do that. How great is the taffy machine up there? I love that. That is a wonderful animation. What a great thing to include in a uh, carnival scene. Absolutely charmed by the existence of a taffy machine. That's some classic boardwalk style saltwater taffy. I've seen those machines in action. I've tasted the fruits of their labor. A joke somewhere in a now it looks like Sam and Max it really does wasn't there a joke in a Leisure Suit Larry game somewhere about like an announcement gone wrong where it was a taffy pulling contest at St. Peter's and not a Peter pulling contest at St. Taffy's or something like that why do I have this strange memory of a terrible joke in my brain they could only be out low right yeah I mean that's gotta be I can't have imagined that um, let's see. So we took the taffy. Let's go to the boathouse. Classic boardwalk boathouse. Oh, it's one of those things. I think. Is it one of those remote control boat things that you see occasionally at a carnival? All right, we got a bottle. Sweet. Okay, take that. Open the bottle for a note. That makes sense. That's what you do with bottles or adventure games. Open bottle. Come back here, take a look. Help! I'm being held prisoner in the fun house. Signed, a prisoner. Creepy. <laughs> creepy. That's real creepy. Another bear. This one's one of those cool dancing bears. You guys, awesome. That's a really good sprite, too. What a great uh, anime to moat that would be. We need to make that one stat, gang. Uh, that's good stuff. Okay, let's see here. that was a climbable ladder without a walkthrough. No way. This scene looks really good. I love the roller coaster. Yeah, this is very much Sam and Max. This is very much Day of the Tentacle at this point. Okay. There you want to use the ladder. Use the bungee harness, of course. Makes sense. We're here. Why not? Boy, would you trust a bungee harness hooked up by Shaggy? Oh. I mean, this is lit. That literally happens in Sam and Max, right? That's just like a straight up Sam and Max puzzle, isn't it? Don't, isn't there a bungee scene in Hit the Road at some point? Boy, if there isn't, it's been too long since I played Hit the Road. Or replace the back busy beach ball with this bear absolutely down 
That would be that would be an excellent swap. Okay. Let's see. Someone's heavily in <laughs> Yeah, the bungee over the tar pit. That sounds right. Yeah, use Bukit with Faucet. Okay, then return to the front lot and take the door on the left. Oh, I talk to this dweeb. This boy, Grayso. Talk to kid. Hey, kid. What you want, mister? Yeah, definitely would have been the weird kid playing this while everybody else was playing Mortal Kombat. Yeah, that's why you get the Genesis version of this game. The SNES version doesn't have blood. Uh, you got to play you gotta play this on the Genesis. But no, absolutely. I mean, that was me my whole childhood. Everybody I knew was talking about, like, you know, playing all their cool console games. I was like, hmm, was anyone here playing King's Quest 3? And, of course, nobody had. Hey, where'd you get those tickets? Found them in the ticket booth. Ain't no more there, though. Want to share some with me? No way, Jose. I lost all my money on the crane game trying to get the water pistol. These tickets are all I have left. Oh, that's tragic. Oh, gotta run. Ooh, it's a hammer game. Test your strength. Ring the bell. Win a prize. Okay, let's give this dude our ticket. Ring bell. Hey, hey, one free shot at the hammer game, eh? Here you go, give her a shot. Okay, now we have a mallet. It's one of those rare rigged carnival games. For some reason, TikTok, when I hop on there, thinks I really want to watch videos of carnies showing how to beat carnival games. Uh, and it's just like time after time, like this is how you beat, you know, the ring toss. This is how you beat the shoot stuff with a water gun game and everything else. And this is how you get around all the grips. And TikTok's completely convinced I want to see that content just 24 seven. You know what? They're right. Uh, that's one of those moments where the algorithm is really upsetting where you're just like, I never thought I wanted to see that, but now that I've watched like 10 TikToks of it, I absolutely do want to see that. And I'm upset that the game or that the algorithm has figured that out about me. I'm gonna pull this pole. This will teach you to play fair. Shaggy sickness. Orbit. <laughs> That's a good gag. The Ferris wheel. Sweet. She trashed my game. First my special prize. Forget it, you cheated. You said to ring the bell. You never said I had to use the hammer. Besides, look who's talking. Great movie, by the way. Great movie. You win. You get the hammer, you jerk. What am I going to do with the hammer, man? I want food. The hammer or nothing. Okay, I'll take it. I love that the only thing that Scooby and Shaggy are trying to do is feed themselves, which is, you know, canonical. That's correct. It'd be weird if they were invested deeply in the uh in the mystery okay i 
I think the design in this one is, in this half of it, it's a little more impressive. Like, I think the backgrounds are really nice, but I do think you can see the limitations of the color palette a little bit more in this one. Like, if this had VGA color palette to work with, I think these scenes could look really great. Because they already look really fantastic, but... Scooby. Oh, we finally get to use Scooby for something. Like, use Scooby. Gang, don't use your friends. Respect. Use balloons with come on, Scooby. Ah. Use Scooby. Use balloons with Scooby. Hey, Scooby! I have an idea. Yeah, that's how balloons work. Checks out. Oh no, Scooby's gonna die. There's no way a dog could survive that. <laughs> he just laughs it off. Never mind. Oh, but I thought Scooby was a goner. I thought he was Scooby done. Not Scooby do anymore. Look, I'm not sitting here laughing at my own joke. If that's what it looked like, that I said Sco Scooby done and then started laughing at my own joke. <laughs> that's not what happened here. Um, he was almost Scooby done. <laughs> okay, we did it. Okay. Uh, use the valve and the dining bell. <laughs> dining bell. I'm eating, I'm eating high my own Scooby Snack Supply. That's right. Okay, use valve. Oh man, bathosphere. We're heading to Rapture, baby. Oh, this is quite a carnival. Can you imagine a carnival with an underwater rig with like a kraken and a smaller octopus? super wise wait now i have to admit i don't always understand the mechanics of hydrodynamics but in this pressurized diver bell <laughs> diving bell can i just open up a hatch and everything's cool okay or maybe this is drained out somehow Oh, maybe that's it. Maybe we're supposed to believe this isn't full. Because I'm getting ready to use a bucket of water here. Alright, now we finally have a little bucket of Cthulhu. Perfect. Okay. I'll check this out. See if this one moves you. That's a magnet. Okay. Hey! Bob the Builder, thank you so much for the raid. Let me give a shout out here. Shout out, Bob the Builder. How are you doing this evening? Thank you so much for the raid. Glad to have you here. Kang, this is your first time here. I'm Decap Jedi. I play old adventure games, including this strange Scooby-Doo point-and-click adventure game for the Sega Genesis, Scooby-Doo Mystery. I believe it's 1995, if I'm not mistaken. Ooh, playing a little bit of Monkey Island 2 Special Edition. You know, strangely enough, Bob the Builder, I came very close to streaming that tonight myself. That was like my backup plan. I was going back and forth between this and Monkey Island 2 Special Edition and uh, ended up with this one. But uh, how was it tonight? Coping with, without my monkey SD? <laughs> my monkeys? Hope it was a good game. Thank you for dropping by. I'm in 
the fun house. This is no fun. Oh no, I'm in the Hall of Mirrors. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Oh, Steam Achievement Hunting. Six years since you played. Nice. Oh, cool. Nice uh, funhouse reflections. Okay. That's a fun effect. Oh, no. <laughs> Moral recordings. It's amazing these two are scared of paddle boats providing in a submersible compression chamber with many points of failure. Yeah, they would have been first in line for a tour of the... Uh, <laughs> the uh, Titanic wreckage. Let's give him a taste of his own medicine. How's it going, moral recordings? Hey, he dropped something. Hey, spark plug. Oh, it's always fun getting a spark plug in an adventure game. Because it always reminds me that I have no idea what spark plugs are and how they work. And really don't understand the mechanics of an internal combustion engine in any way. And anytime I pick up a spark plug in a video game, I'm just reminded of that. <laughs> that I have no basic knowledge of how the world around me works. Um, okay. Turn to the front lot, it says. Okay. An arcade. Whoa, wait a second. Wait just a second. I feel like that's gotta be <laughs> full throttle, right? Why you're in full throttle come out? That's just Ben Throttle wearing glasses. It came out after this though, didn't it? It had to. Spark plug in a boat. We did it. Okay. Obscura. Seems like a big periscope with four lenses. Okay, let's try using it. Okay, let's look at window four. Look at window four. Oh no. It's the derailed track. that guy. Where'd he come from? Cloud school. Window two. Oh no, the gang is trapped down the pond. Have to do something to rescue them, Scoob. Right, Raggy. Okay, let's see here. But first, we play a skill crane game. This thing takes tokens. Well, I've got tokens, baby. Can you do that, Shaggy? Okay. Oh no, is this actually a... Oh no! Oh no, I wasn't ready for this! Ah, uh, this is the water pistol that dumb kid wanted. What? What? Oh no, don't bring me out here every single time, please. I just use it. Will you just please put in the token on your own? takes tokens. No, of course you won't. Also, I'm not entirely sure how that didn't work. Full Throttle predates this by six months. That can't be an intentional 
full throttle. Hey, Harley Morgan. Yeah, I nailed that. Look at that great timing. Look at that expert skill craning. It's more like Fraser craning, if you ask me. I don't think I have any ability to go forward or back with this. I think I only have left or right. There we go. All right. Now we have the gun that little kid wants so badly. Why'd I pick use? Because I'm sleepy, that's why. We gotta power through this. Okay. Okay, so it says, return to the front block. Walk down at the far left save our pals. Beware of Sea Serpent. Oh no. I bet I use my little spark plug boat, right? Here you go, the gang. I suggest I do that. As I use it with the pond. Use. Just throw it to them. Or ride on it like uh, Edgar and it takes two to tangle. Hold on, guys, Captain Shaggy to the rescue. What are we supposed to do with this, Shaggy? How does this help us? We gotta find that manager and warn him about the cloud. Let's split up and meet back with him when we find him. Hey, hi, Barry Hazard. Good to see you. Welcome in. Oh my goodness, we're getting raided left and right tonight. I give a shout out here to Highbury Hazard. Good to see you. Long time no see. You. Hope you're doing well. Everybody, be sure to go give High, uh, Highbury Hazard a, a follow. Terrific streamer. Always a pleasure. Uh, playing the Phantom Fellows. I don't know that one. I hope it was a good stream, though. Thank you for coming by. Thanks for uh, sharing your community with us. Raiders, I'm Decaf Jedi. I stream old adventure games tonight. The old adventure game I'm streaming is a Scooby-Doo game, a Scooby-Doo mystery for the Sega Genesis, which weirdly is a point and click adventure for the Sega Genesis. Not something you see a lot of, but a uh, fascinating game. I've been doing well. I hope you have been too, Highbury, but welcome in Raiders. How was your stream tonight? Okay, let's see here. So we've done it. We've gotten our friends. Return to the fun house. Pretty sure anybody knows me already knows you. And that is the case with a lot of the retro gaming community, which I kind of love, right? Yeah, the SNES version of this is not an adventure game at all. Same title, same cover art and everything, but yeah, totally different game. You got Ding Dang Frankenstein. Oh, cool. Another funny, spooky point and click that you worked on a little. That's nice, awesome. Okay, so we got a classic, a Frankenstein. Uh, we're gonna take the boots from Frankenstein? That's like tugging on Superman's cape. Take boots. See, I hope his feet don't get too cold. Alright, now we have giant Frankenstein boots. There are moments where the music sounds a little bit like Iron Man to me, like some uh, some real I am Iron Man kind of vibes. Yeah, this one is absolutely Lucas Artsy. I mean, everything about it is very Day of the Tentacle, very uh, Sam and Max. 
the previous game had some scenes that I'm almost certain were inspired directly by Sam and Max. Let's see, take bandage, okay. Return to the fun house. the bumper cars. So now that we're at the bumper cars. Oh, the engine's busted. This engine's missing a drive belt. Well, it's a good thing we have some taffy. Is that the taffy? Yes, it is. Use taffy with engine. Okay, now we can use switch. Nice. That makes sense. Okay. Let's use the bumper cars. Uh -oh. oh no. Oh no. No! What's happening? Why is, not, why is it damaging me and not him? This is simply not how bumper cars work. Nobody knows how bumper cars work. I do know is that they don't work in my favor. Wow, that's how Shag and Scoop died. What a ride! Is the full throttle derby safe? Okay, so how do I actually do this? I'm trying to bump the clown more than he bumps you. Oh, this is the Duckman developers. Interesting. So they were just in the licensed adventure game for a little while, huh? It's really not fair that his hits do so much damage compared to mine. I don't know if it's velocity based or just his bumper car is more powerful. There's always a more powerful bumper car in the bumper car arena. Also, don't always know why something scores as a hit for me versus him. All I know is I can't do this. Hey, thank you so much. I've got middle aged spine too. I don't know exactly what you're talking about, hi, Barry. Two hours is about my limit of uh, streaming, typically. It looks like it's going to take me six more hours to beat this. <laughs> yeah, like, why'd that damage me and not him? In the case of a head-on, he definitely always wins. I guess I need to maybe T-bone him as much as possible. Yeah, like that's a no-win situation for me. It's like me at a steakhouse. I always be T-boning. my closest yet. <sighs> Classic mini game that derails progress. Absolutely. There's a surprising amount of game left. Okay, let's do it again. I'm getting better. 
That's encouraging. The fact that you can't see the whole field does really mess it up, right? Yeah, you just have to kind of hope that you're going to hit him at a good angle and he won't find you. Unlock him in a corner. That's what I need to do. Bad move, Jess. Ah! Okay, here we go. Here we go. We got this. Chin up. This is doable. As the lucky round. A few lucky shots. <laughs> I agree. Well, there you go. Right away. Good Lord, leave me alone. How's he the greatest? Bumper car driver in the world. Let the Mario Andretti, the bumper cars. I don't even know what that would mean in this context, but I stand by it. I know that clowning is a noble art, but uh, this guy's the worst. Be ashamed of his profession. Because he's not doing it justice. I don't remember this vexing me the last time I played. I'm sure it must have. I'm sure I was just as frustrated. Hey, Noah! Scoop. Good to see you. Scooby Doo Mystery's been going really well so far. It's uh, it's a wild one. I'm stuck on an arcade sequence at the moment, but it's a fun little point and click adventure game on the Genesis somewhere you don't expect to find one necessarily. Look at that. It's absolutely destroyed. Yeah, it's really fun. It's such a, like I said, just such an unexpected game and I really like that so much of it just takes takes visual notes from LucasArts in a really fun way. I mean that's a beautiful style that LucasArts had in the Day of the Tentacle Sam and Max era. It's good to see a game really borrowing from that in a, in a tasteful way. Yeah I mean it's definitely a very PCS game right like it is so odd for the Genesis catalog. Oh, this, this mini game is giving me fits. I feel like it should give me a like, do you just want to skip this option? Okay. Ooh, okay, get together, Jess. You got this. You can do this. It's doable. Someone's beaten this before. Like I said, what I really need to do is find a way to get him stuck in the corner. That's how you beat mini games like this, is eventually you just get your opponent stun locked in a corner. Yeah, he really gets out quickly after the initial hit, which makes it hard to kind of keep him in one place. The 
fact that his head-on hits are just completely deadly to me and do no damage to him really makes it a difficult playing field to operate on. Yeah, like that is always going to kill me and not hurt him. Okay, here we go. One more time. We're going to do this. We've got this, gang. I just need all of you to send up your prayers. Don't seem to work. Oh no, it's a game of cat and mouse. Only we're the dog. so close. I'm slowly, I think, getting better at this. I think. It's hard to really say. Yeah, if we had just a little more field of view, it'd be so much easier to plan attacks. Yeah, this is just standard console difficulty level. Especially for this era, right? I mean, this isn't Battletoads or anything. I do feel like, I don't know how you would do better than not just giving all head-to-head -head collisions with him. Maybe just momentum. But it makes it really hard where every head-to-head -head goes to him. Again, when you can't see him well enough to like plan out ahead of time how you're going to direct your strike. Ah, uh, worse that time, worse that time. Time to get, get the game face on. We gotta make this work. <laughs> we'll do this like one more time and then I'm gonna check the walkthrough and see if there's a cheat code. I have to get my game genie out. I think there's Game Genie for Genesis, right? I never really played a Genesis IRL. I've told the story before of how I tried uh, Sonic the Hedgehog at a kiosk in uh, in Sears once, and a uh, demo kiosk. I was like, this is far too fast. I'm never playing this game again, and I never did. I preferred the slower, more cerebral platforming of a Mario. Or 
gonna be one of these where I should try to save state here. Maybe I will. Like, this feels like a decent start. Or is he stuck on a wall somewhere? Okay, let's try to load that safe state. See if it does it. Even. Yeah, okay. Ooh, okay. <sighs> Bazinga, the safe state did it. Yeah, he won't be bothering us for a while. He better not be. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. All right, we got dark. Okay. Return to the front line. Got it. Thank you, Paul. We're going to beat this game tonight, gang. There's no turning back now. Hey, brat. Ah. You can tell I'm getting tired and frustrated. I'm not able to use the interface anymore. I'm not able to remember what my C button is. Who ever heard of a C button? Guess what I got? I won the water pistol first try. Actually, that's a lie. I'll trade for those tickets. Okay, deal. Sweet, we got a bunch of tickets. Okay. So that's done. Give the tickets to the dart attendant. Have we seen a dart game so far? Dorts. Welcome to Dorts. Is that the arcade? Yeah. That's uh, Ben Throttle here. Let's see. Good dart attendant. An altogether unsavory looking dude. I mean, that looks so much like Ben Throttle to me. Hey, Mr. Dark Guy. Hey, Mr. Dark Guy. Uh, that, I imagine Laverne saying that. Hey, Mr. Dark Guy. I'm gonna play the dark game. <laughs> Cough up a ticket or get lost. Well, see ya. Not if I see you first. Oh man, he's suggesting that he sees us first to avoid us. And then we won't see him. This will be a mini game too. All right. <laughs> Shaggy's a mess to society. Okay. Repeat this until you win the teddy bear. Okay. I thought we'd just do it the same way we did last time. Hey, Mr. Dark Guy. I just misspells cough there. So really, I have to talk to him first every time. Or I give him. I used him, didn't I? I tried to use the stick, give. Give tickets to Dark Town. Okay, now I got it. That was just me. That was me. That one's on me, gang. Choose some darts. Oh my goodness, the raids are going crazy in that. Thank you, Necker Keys. Let me give a shout out here to Necker Keys. Welcome in, Raiders. I'm Decap Jedi. Jess, I am playing 
a little bit of Scooby-Doo mysteries, a point-and-click adventure game for the Sega Genesis tonight. Hope you're doing well. I like to uh, like to play these sorts of retro point-and-clicks, and this one on the Genesis is a weird one, but it's good to see you. Hey, Draconic Dude, welcome in. Play a little bit of games and demos. Necker Keys, how are you? It's good to see you. What were you playing this evening? Welcome in, everybody. Glad to have you here. If you like these sorts of old games, consider uh, dropping a follow. We'd love to have you uh, have you join the club. So we are trying to solve a mystery, as one often does in these sorts of Scooby-Doo situations. We've got a haunted carnival. Ooh, playing demos from PAX Australia. Nice. Anything uh, promising? Hey, Draconic Dude, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome in, I appreciate it. Yeah, we did it. Did we win the teddy bear? Here's your prize, now we get lost. Sweet, we got a teddy bear. I'm cheating my way through this. Give the teddy bear to the balancing bear. This is a great game, though. It is very much inspired by Lucy. Lucic, Lucas Arts classics like uh, like Day of the Tentacle and Sam and Max. You can really see the visual inspirations there. Hey Ben, ben it's good to see you. Jake, did you have COVID yet? You know, so far, I think I'm COVID-free. Ben jokes, but as I mentioned earlier in the stream, the first time that I played this uh, years ago on stream, um, I do believe that I came down with COVID midstream, uh, developed my symptoms right in the middle of playing this second episode. And I've never gone back and watched that VOD, but I deeply believe that if you did, you would... Um, <laughs> you would see a man who, like, just immediately, as if someone threw a switch, developed COVID symptoms. Okay, we got the ball. Okay, I think we need to go back into the uh, clown mouth. How's it going with you, Ben? Ben, are you hosting any new podcasts lately? Maybe this is a great time to ask this question. For those of you who don't know, uh, Ben and I um, are uh, are hosting a new podcast together, Quest Quest, the adventure game podcast. Uh, you can find it on uh, Spotify and Apple. You can uh, go to my YouTube channel, Decaf Jedi, and uh, check it out there as well. But uh, everyone be sure to, uh, to listen to some Quest Quest. It's a fun new podcast where we uh, talk about adventure games eventually. A lot of it's talking and occasionally we get around to working to our adventure game subject, but uh, it's a good time. Everyone check out Quest Quest, the adventure game podcast. Okay. Is this the Hall of Mirrors? Did I go the wrong way? No, I did the park manager wrapped up in mummy in mummy bandages thought you're a real mummy thanks for rescuing me i hope someone would find my note my carnival is still being ruined by the evil clown but the clowns are supposed to make people happy he's not really a clown that explains it he just wants to be one ah he's a clown school dropout catch him i have to run now and save my carnival Pew. where'd he go he doesn't ask much, does he? Let's go meet up with the rest of the gang. Okay, the girls now take the mystery machine and get the police. Don't say it, Fred. Shaggy, you and Scooby stay here and try to trap him. Told you not to say that. Hey, B Rodeo Clown. Clowns aren't evil. It's good they clarified that. There you go. We have a rodeo uh, clown in the chat uh, stepping up to say this guy is not a clown. His actions do not reflect uh, the clowning community, <laughs> nor should they. Uh, let's see here. So go to the front lot and walk all the way to the right before walking down to the front office, then take the rubber stamp to the corner of the desk. Oh, 
Okay. Turn to the game tent. Hey, I also invite all of y'all, if you're here, to uh, join our Discord. The link just popped up in chat. Great place to hang out with a bunch of uh, friendly, welcoming gaming fans. We love to talk about old games, new games, whatever's going on in gaming, uh, gaming culture at any given moment. But uh, we'd love to have you there. Ooh, man, look at that very strong guy. You don't see many old, strong men. How do you feel about the puzzles this time around? What I feel about the puzzles this time around is that they are still probably a little too difficult. I think that it is... Freeze! Hey, just kidding. Boss says you guys are okay. <laughs> yeah, I feel like it's still a little difficult. Like, I can't imagine the average kid, aside from just the way that kids play a game like this, you know, of just eventually brute forcing your way through it to fish. I mean, I've been on walk through the entire time, and even then, I'm not like flying through this thing. Okay, use the rubber stamp with the application in the corner. Oh, is this a clown school application? Oh my gosh, there's lots of applications for clown jobs here. They are all rejected. <laughs> oh my god. So we're gonna fake a. Uh... It's an accepted application for a job as a clown. <laughs> this will fix him. Okay, then use the application with the bulletin board. Good news, you've been, you've been accepted to clown college. Yeah, the fact that there's no clear objective, I think, is the biggest problem. This game really needs, uh, we're, we're splitting up, Shaggy. You and Scoob need to do these three things, and... That's, I think, that would go a long way. It would make up for the fact that some of the pot, uh, some of the puzzles are a little moon logic-y if you knew exactly why you were setting off to do things to begin with. Whereas it kind of just sets you loose. It's like, we're hungry. Good luck finding a snack. And that's about all the guidance you get. Okay. Return to the boardwalk. Use the tokens of Madame Zelda. I like the soundtrack in the game. I feel like, considering we have to hear it repeated a lot, it holds up pretty well. It costs one gold coin to see Madame Zelda. Okay, here we go. Oh, that is a great scene. Look at that. That's a good looking scene. Okay. <laughs> we get this evil clown or we get us. The future holds you great promise. Okay. What's the meaning of life? It is. It is. Ruh -roh. It is. Zoink, she's going to blow. <laughs> oh god! Some fireworks show. <laughs> okay, well you know how that you do at this point. You just, uh, now you've blown up Madame Zelda, you just, uh, take the head? <laughs> Why does no other inventory grab have an animation? Except for the one where he sticks Adam Zelda's head down the front of his pants. None of the others have the animation. But that one, they were like, oh, we need to, we need to ride in Shaggy. <laughs> Pulling out his pants. And dropping Adam Zelda's head down it. Okay. <laughs> okay. Return to the haunted house. I know how to get there. Do I have a wrench? 
I don't remember having a wrench. God, the head is so good. Just sitting there. I didn't think I had a wrench. We doing surgery here, we might be. Okay. Use the wrench. So let's see if we can find where the wrench comes in. I'm searching my walkthrough again. Where did I miss picking up a wrench? Oh, there was one at the bulletin board. Okay. Where in the world was that? How'd that get to the back lot area where the... Remember how we got to the room where the clown applications were? I can't even remember where that was. Something there, that's just the boat room. Oh, it was through the through the arcade, wasn't it? Yeah, it was through the arcade. Hey, there's a link to that new podcast now. Be sure to like, follow, subscribe, comment, rate, all those sorts of great things. I saw that trunk there and didn't think to open. This is the problem of using a walkthrough. So, just completely to guide you through a game is you don't even, uh, don't even bother to see obvious things sometimes. Yeah, the music's very good. I mean, again, for a track that's looped through most of this level, it's got enough variation, just some really nice stuff going on with it that I don't find it gets terribly old. Like, I'm not deeply annoyed by this music. Oops. Wrong way. Ding dong. You have to push to the left to exit to the right. Okay. Now we're going to use the ranch. With the bolts. Boy, we're just taking advantage of this Frankenstein. Can we just take his head? Or make a killer Adam uh, Zelda. No, not an option. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Back to the front lot. Okay. Talk to the kid and choose how come you just stand around here? Yeah, great question. That kid wearing a Punisher shirt? What you want, mister? How come you just stand around? Just can't figure out what to ride. You just got on the broken down <laughs> roller coaster that might kill you. Um, oh yeah, why well, ride the roller coaster? That's the answer. You want to take a deadly ride on a roller coaster? Yeah, that'd be great. The roller coaster guy said we need four people. Scooby here is worth any two docks. Plus, you and me makes four. All right. <laughs> okay, you should end up on the boardwalk with the kid. Now give the kid the boots to make him taller. Sorry, guy, the kid's too short. He's gotta be at least this tall. This is very good to uh, put a kid in Frankenstein boots to make him tall enough to ride a roller coaster to what end? Just because Shaggy and Scoob want somebody else to ride with. Here you go, kid, have some Frankenstein boots. <laughs> oh, this is 
<laughs> so good. Look how happy he is to have Frankenstein boots. It's a lot taller than you said before. Okay, whatever. It doesn't matter. That's how it goes. How about my girlfriend? She doesn't count as a whole person because of her ex. Don't. Hey, Adrift on C. The spot in inventory is very cosmic space head. Ah. Wow. You guys go ahead. You chickened out. I'm not waiting for him to work up his nerve. You guys go ahead, so that's not even necessary. At the end of the day, he's not part of it. Okay. Oops. I like the pile of... I didn't realize that was a pile of roller coaster cars. That's very good. Okay. So we have to use the brakes. Mr. Roller Coaster Guy? Okay. No way I'm gonna pull that. Okay, you guys gotta use it. I thought it was a pull situation. Okay, we'll get this, we'll get this. I do love the piled up. Uh, roller coaster cars. What a good visual gag that I've been looking at this whole time and didn't uh, didn't really pick up on until now. Mr. Roller Coaster Guy. Okay. Ooh, man, that is intense. Okay, we did it. This is going to be a short ride. Use bolt with track. Wow, look at that. What a maneuver. Okay. Use the bolts with the track. Then use the brakes to start moving again. supposed to stop there, weren't we? <sighs> okay. At least we didn't nearly die that time. Okay. Use Nintendo. Oh, that's how it works. That's not how, that's not how people work. You shouldn't use people in a game. You talk to them. Yes. Okay. Ooh, I feel like there's a low chance I'm getting this on the first try. Oh, we did it. Well, there you have it. And I clicked it again. Oh, that's fatigue, gang. This is why I need to stop streaming after 8 p.m. When my old body starts to uh, feel tired. I don't have the reflexes for it anymore. But we're so close to the end. I have to tell you. We're so close to the end. This is a very Lucas bit. I mean, at some level, it's not that dissimilar to the end of Curse of Mikey Allen. So close. It's only taken me about an hour longer than the people with long plays on YouTube already. That way when people are searching later, they're like, I don't want a quick long play. I want someone who really like saturates uh, and marinates in this game. Uh, let's see. Use the break. Uh, return to the back lot. And use... This way. Yeah, that was a very Lucas bit. Okay, back lot. Here we are. 
Okay. We'll use a new paintbrush with Inky. Okay, now we have a good paintbrush. It says, use the inky brush with the sign. I wonder what sign. Oh, maybe our sign. Use inky brush with, boy, this is a wild one. The sign. Did Shaggy have a wig in the show? You know, I can't remember if he did either. I know he keeps popping his wig when he's scared. And I can't remember if that's a gag from the show or if that's just like some fun cartoony stuff. So now watch this. I'm gonna trick this doofus of a clown. Job, clown. Just go in here, you goofus. I'm supposed to do something, aren't I? <laughs> Use the dart with the ball. Oh, wait. What happened? Okay, here we go. So, this is a wild way to end the game. Use the dart with the ball, I guess, to pop it and scare him so he jumps into this. We got him, Scoob. Wow. Shaggy, Scooby, you guys did great. Sure we did. You two are very brave. Like, we didn't have a lot of choice. Uh-huh. You guys should have asked me for help. Like, we tried. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Well, let's find out who's been ruining my carnival. <gasps> it's the dark guy. <laughs> So is you, Charlie. <laughs> it's so good to you, Charlie. Why? Because I wanted to be a clown. Charlie, you aren't funny. You never have been. <laughs> I could be. <laughs> That's the funniest thing you could possibly say, Charlie. <laughs> it's not funny. That's why you'll never be a clown. I could have been a clown. If it weren't for these meddling kids, I could have taken over this carnival. There it is. I could have made myself a clown. Where you're going, there'll be plenty of time to study your technique. Improv school. They'll keep me <laughs> chill that long. Kids cause you the ha ha carnival is safe again. So I'd like to thank you in my most personal way. So that the ha ha carnival belongs to you. Everything is free. How does that grab you? You know the food? Especially the food. Great, and Daphne, she's not free. This time we ride the roller coaster. I'm with you, no more boats for me. Even a roller coaster sounds better than another boat to me. Great, Shaggy Scooby, let's go. Like, thanks, but no thanks, Fred. Scooby and I have had enough of the old roller coaster. What do you want me to do, Charlie, boss? Throw him in the water. I don't think we should call the authorities. See, Fred, us folks in the carny business like to keep family business in the family, so to speak. I have a much better idea than the police. Oh, no. Calls when you get back, Charlie. Oh no. Oh no. He got LeChucked. Sorry, Shaggy, you do not get to eat Daphne. Programming game over. We did it, y'all. <laughs> this game fascinating. Nothing like Carney Justice. Yes, Charlie died. He froze to death. He popped. It was terrible out in space for Charlie, but that's what him gets. Sometimes it bees like that. Um, <laughs> I love this game. I am fascinated by it. Which episode was better? I think the first episode felt more fully realized. I, th I feel like this one was maybe a little bit less going on. I think this setting's a little more fun than like a random hotel lodge setting, but of the two, I think that, I think Blake Hotel works a little better for me. 
I like this one too. It's eternity out there. That mini game did sink it. Yeah, I mean, if this hadn't had the mini game that took me like 20 minutes, maybe I would have liked the second one a little bit better. But uh, still, I enjoyed it. This is a good game. I just can't believe it exists. That's why I played it last time. That's why I came back to play it now. Is this is just a game I can't believe exists. A point and click adventure game for the Genesis that's not half bad and again visually i think just looks fantastic borrowing heavily from day of the tentacle and to a lesser degree sam and max is a smart move for a game like this and both of those fit the vibe of scooby-doo so well it's uh i mean it's just a, a really good fit in my opinion so yeah that was uh, that was good stuff i hope y'all enjoyed hanging out with me but for now we need to get a raid going and i want to see who here is online oh my goodness we've got some folks online not many though it is a uh it is a not many people online kind of thing let's maybe raid uh oh goodness let's raid natendo natendo is playing the uh, new silent hill game you know if you want to go from one halloween game to another <laughs> that's perfect right the tone from scooby-doo for the genesis uh, straight to uh, straight to Silent Hill 2. <laughs> Makes a lot of sense, but thank y'all for hanging out. What's coming up this week on Retro Adventure Wednesday? Let me just say, I've never been as excited for a Retro... Well, I can't say ever, but in a long time have I been as excited for a Retro Adventure Wednesday. So be sure to tune in. I'll be announcing what the game is here soon. But uh, for now, I just want to build that anticipation. It's going to be a big week at Retro Adventure Wednesday. Thank you for watching. I've been Jess this whole time. Be sure to uh, follow, subscribe, like, comment, whatever you're doing. Whether you're watching here, watching on YouTube, uh, watching later on on, uh, on Friendster or MySpace or anywhere else. Uh, thank you for being here. Thank you for hanging out. Thanks to the raids, everybody, especially tonight. And I will see you on the, uh, on the other side. Uh, take care, y'all, and have a good week.